Hey guy. Hi guys, this is Elizabeth Kwam from Mangetti Grove. Please subscribe. I'm going to give you a little update before I show you my kale. And I'm going to give you an update on these. The uh, sweet potato vine, old single leaf, is growing a little bit of a root. You see there, I'm going to leave it in there. And also, my basil is growing a little bit of a root too. So, that's exciting. And here we're going to get on to it. Hey guys, I want to show you my kale. My Russian red kale. All throughout this garden was actually lettuce growing. Lots of it. I was able to harvest it all year and I cut the kale really short and harvested it and put it along with along with my greens. I put the little baby kales, but I kept that kale very short for the spring and intermixed it. And then when the lettuce was going to seed, I pulled out the majority of the lettuces and I let some of the lettuce go to seed and drop seed down and now it's populating underneath there. But I also took that seed and put it in another spot. Actually, I'll show you that other spot too. Uh, I took it over here, put it in another spot. There's my beautiful kale. I'm gonna make a, a supa toscana with it, but I'm gonna use some deer sausage. Uh, well, it's kind of like ground deer and beef mixture with some spices. It's really yummy. So here's another spot where I put the lettuce and you see like it was so dry this year. I think it rained three times in Iowa. So, well, in, on my property, I saw it go past me to the north, past me to the south. <sighs> Went all around us. So, I am debating whether I, I put a little shelter up and water this area so that I can get some greens for the fall. I think it probably is a no-brainer for most of you, but um, I have to weigh what I want to do. So, now, this... This will continue growing and I love what I did and I want to do it again because it is hard to establish something back here where I don't have a lot of hoses. It's kind of near the back of the property. I don't have a lot of hoses and part of the season I just kind of let it go because those cabbage moths, those white butterflies that land and lay eggs and have the green caterpillar they kind of took over um, making little spots on these guys everywhere which is fine you don't have to be a food snob you can eat that vegetable uh, leafy green but I decided to just kind of feed a lot of it to my animals as snacks and then now I can really enjoy it now that the that cabbage moth has kind of ceased to want to procreate so of something. It ate something. There it is. My friend. I saw him earlier this year. Snakes are actually very helpful. Snakes are helpful in the garden. They control a lot of pests. But they also eat toads, I think, and I like toads too. Hi, guy. Hi. A garter snake. Got a big belly. Maybe he can be our friend all to his ears. How do how long do garter snakes live for? I don't know. It's huge. Darian will be mad I didn't catch it for him. Garter snakes can live four to five years in the wild and twice that amount if they're a pet. Don't worry, I'm not going to have a snake pet yet. 
most impressively, they give birth to live young. A lot of people think they all the snakes have eggs, but actually a lot of snakes give birth to live young and they can have 20 to 40 babies all at once. Yeah. Although that very day I did make Supa Toscana, the one that I show you at the end of the film is actually made with Italian sausage from our own pigs. The very day that we butchered them actually and I'm going to show you a video about that. Kale is frost resistant. I'm just going to show you how awesome it is. Looky there. It's almost completely dried off too. I'm going to harvest this but I should get a tarp on it soon because it is going to be um, it is going to be quite cold. Kale is very dense nutritionally. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals, but uh, three of the main and the largest ones it has is vitamin A, K, and vitamin C even. You don't think of kale as a vitamin C, but it is. It has vitamin C and it's, it has loads of powerful antioxidants um, to help reduce the chances of cancer. It can also increase our good cholesterol levels and decrease the bad cholesterol levels in our body. I'm browning a lot of sausage just because I'm going to make a lasagna later today. Um, but so I'm going to brown all that sausage and then I've got my pan of potatoes chopped up and boiling. I just put a bit of water. It's going to be the soup. It takes longer to cook than the greens do of the kale. So. I'm just going to put a bit of salt. You can put it to however, however much you like it when you're testing it. I'm going to add about a pound, a pound of pork sausage, the Italian sausage, into this mixture. Get some of those juices on the bottom. That'll be good. Delicious. When the potatoes are about five minutes from being done, I dump in the kale and the cream. And you can put as much cream as you want, but I just like to make the, um, in this pot, I put about half of a quart. Okay, my potatoes are almost done. I'm just going to mix this in until it's a bit, a little bit wilted. Thanks for watching guys and if you make Supa Toscana then let me know how you liked it in the comments.